Hello. In this video, we're going to go over sig fig rules for addition and subtraction. Recall that the uncertainty in our answer is determined by the largest source of uncertainty and the parameters that go into it. Absolute uncertainty, or the, the same units as our, our value, is the uncertainty that matters in addition and subtraction. In this first problem, we have uncertainty in the thousandths place. I'm going to note this as minus 3, sort of 10 to the minus 3, or 1, 2, 3. Um, to the right of the decimal point, and here it's in 10 to the minus 4. The implied uncertainty of plus or minus 1 in this digit, 1 times 10 to the minus 3 is a larger number than 1 times 10 to the minus 4, and this will determine the uncertainty in our answer. When I go through and I plug these numbers into my calculator, the number I get out is 0 0.5439 and remember grams. We've got to keep track of our units here. <clears throat> but we need to look at where we're going to round this number, if at all, to deal with the uncertainty. This was our largest source of uncertainty. It's going to determine our answer. And our answer should have uncertainty in that 10 to the minus 3 position. <clears throat> to round this number, we end up with 0 0.544 gram. Okay. Here's one that can trip students up also. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start by just running the calculation here. And when I, when I get it out of my calculator, what I'll see is 0 0.526 grams. Okay. In this number, the uncertainty is in that 10 to the minus 4 position, 4 to the right of the decimal place. This is the 10 thousandths place. And I see the same level of uncertainty in the second answer. So our calculated value, in addition subtraction, it's where it is, not how many digits. It doesn't matter that we have six sig figs. It's that first uncertain figure is going to be the first uncertain figure in our answer, and our last significant figure is in the minus four spot. And one, two, three, we haven't added enough. We need to add another digit. And if we're missing a digit, that's going to be a zero that we add. Okay. So. <coughs> In addition, subtraction, it's where 10 to the minus 4 spot is uncertain in these, and so we'll be uncertain in our answer. That's our first uncertain figure, our last significant figure. Okay, here's another one that can be tricky. If we plug this into our calculator, 890.874 grams. And we need to look at our uncertainty to determine where to round. The first uncertain figure here come in, comes in the tens place, or 10 to the 1. Okay. And in this one, the first uncertain figure, which is the last significant figure, is 10 to the minus 3 in that thousandths place. This is the largest source of uncertainty and will determine the uncertainty in our answer. And that says that our answer is uncertain in that tens place. So this number should be rounded right back to 890 grams. Okay, and notice it didn't change. We've added something smaller than the level of uncertainty we have in this number. It doesn't change our number there. Okay. This one can be a little tricky. Watch out for the units. We need to make sure that we only add or subtract things that come in the same units. So the first thing I'm going to do is to convert this to units of milliliters. Okay, now I'm going to continue with the addition subtraction operation. When I plug this into my calculator, I get 62.8 milliliters. Now I need to go back and look at where my uncertainty is. In this number, the first uncertain digit is in that tenths place, or 10 to the minus 1. And here, the first uncertain digit falls in the tens place, or 10 to the 1. The 10 is larger than a tenth, and it's going to determine the uncertainty in our answer, which falls in this tens place. And this number should be rounded so that that's the last significant figure, or 60 milliliters, one significant figure. Okay. The last challenge that I think shows up a lot is dealing with scientific notation. Now if your instructor is asking you to line up the decimal points and, and do it vertically, um, 
you need to convert these so they're all coming out to the same exponent. So I'll go ahead and, and write that out quickly here. 3.6 times 10 to the minus 15. To convert this to 10 to the minus 15, I need to move the decimal place two points to the right, and it comes out to be 172 times 10 to the minus 15. And here, the minus 14, I need to move it only one, it comes out to be 68.751 times 10 to the minus 15. Okay, now in this kind of notation, you would start on the left side and you'd look for the first uncertain figure that you come to in any position, which is this two. If this is uncertain in my numbers going in, it's going to be uncertain in my answer which comes out to be 106. Remember, I'm subtracting that and adding that. 106.849 times 10 to the minus 15. Okay, so if I'm uncertain in this position, my answer will be uncertain in that position, and that's gonna be the first uncertain figure or the last significant figure. And if I move the decimal point back, this comes to be 1.07 times 10 to the minus 13. Now to this point I've been sort of counting what position it is, thinking scientific notation, and I'll try solving the same problem that way. If you plug it into your calculator, it indeed comes out to be 1.06849 times 10 to the minus 13. To figure out where the uncertainty is, I sort of keep track here. This one, the uncertainty is in the minus 16 position, one to the right of the decimal point at minus 15 brings it to minus 16. This one is at 13, 14, minus 15. And this one is at 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So in the minus 18 position. The largest of these numbers is the 10 to the minus 15. And so my answer will be uncertain in the 13, 14, 15 position, 1.07 times 10 to the minus 13 is the answer. So however you, you go about figuring it out, the big thing you need to remember in all of these is that the uncertainty in the answer is determined by the largest source of uncertainty going in. And if this digit is uncertain, the first uncertain digit I come to as I look from left to right becomes the first uncertain digit and the last significant digit.